Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Huh? 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 Thanks. For you. Huh? Something is making me sneeze. Hmm. I wonder why do people sneeze? <laughs> Yes! It's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is Ready for adventure! Woo-hoo! Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hello! Hey, it's me, Flippy. Who are you? My name's Petunia, and I'm a piece of pollen. I may be small, but I can make big things happen! <laughs> like a sneeze? You got it! When I'm around people, I bother them! <laughs> I especially like bothering noses. Come on, dance with me. Oh, don't worry, it's a nose. It's not going to bite. Plus, it's fun. <laughs> so, this will make someone sneeze? This is just the start, since a sniff is coming. Watch out. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> It looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair. It's here to keep pollen like me, and plus other things like dust particles, out of your nose. Oh, well, it won't work. Oh, it's fun to be irritating. Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, now a tissue's coming for us. Run! Oh, right. They're really bothering this nose now. <laughs> Take all my is the sneeze coming? It is! <laughs> na 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 na! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh no! Boogers! We did it! Yes! And I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. Okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia. <laughs> Fetch, Debo. <laughs> Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat. Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. <laughs> Good question, Nebo. Hmm, I wonder, where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wings, frog legs, confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! <sighs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. And I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. Me too. Whirlpool. Whoa. Erosion makes me dizzy. 
Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> Whoa, look how small huh? I am. Shrinking down. Wow, Wayne. You're so small, we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs> Catch that fish! Whoa, Wayne! You're tiny! Yup. <laughs> Even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle. Whoa! Oh, boy! Here we go! Ah, there! My sand castle's complete! Ha! Ah, I did it! My dream came true! Thanks for being a gem during my erosion! It was a blast! And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye Goodbye! See you later! Activate Flippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! <laughs> Whoa! What a beautiful day! Flippy, did you know that today is Earth? I didn't! Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out! Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great! We're the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And, and we, we must protect, protect it so the plants can What can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have. Protect the Earth. We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savannah to the polar bears at the North Pole the monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home when it's the home for you. that we
we call home. Activate Blippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hi, y'all! Welcome! I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey! It's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all! Uh-oh! Nice birdie! <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello! We're here! Right back on the trail, sweet pea! There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right. My antennas are a twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all. Bumpy road ahead. Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. Okay, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Whoa! <laughs> Grapes are good. Walnuts are yum. Cheese and crackers. I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. OK, y'all. Let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her, and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. <laughs> ah, Italy. What a cool country. Someone's got the tummy rumbles. I am feeling hungry. Great idea, Debo. Let's get an authentic Italian pizza. Ciao! Did someone say pizza? I'm Paola Parmigiano. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Debo. Hi, Paola. We love a slice of pizza. Oh, unfortunately, I have some bad news. I'm sold out. Oh, but I could help you make a fresh pizza of your own. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make pizza? Come on in. All right. I'm going to need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right.
Okay, let's get this pizza started. The first step is kneading the dough. Huh? Kneading means to press and fold the dough like this. Ooh. Ooh. This strengthens its structure. Woohoo! <laughs> wow! The next step is to stretch the dough until it's the proper pizza shape. Everyone, grab an edge! One, two, three! Look out! The next step is to cover our stretched out dough in the sauce! All right! The next step is to put on the cheese. Huh? The sauce is hot lava! <laughs> now it's my favorite part! Choosing toppings that you love to make the best pizza ever! How about mushrooms? Olives coming through! Our smiling pizza makes me smile! Me too! It's time for the last step! Are you ready, Bleepy? Ready, Paula! Time to bake the pizza! But you have to be very careful. The oven is hot! Careful! Careful! Yeah! Delicioso! Thanks for answering my question, Paula. Pizza is made by kneading and stretching the dough, adding sauce, cheese, and toppings, and then baking it all in the oven. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Ciao for now! Ciao, Paula! Grazie for the pizza! Bye bye Activate Flippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, oh, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! <laughs> Sure is hard. Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon. That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T-minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal! All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk incoming! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! 
No time to float around. We've got a cereal rescue mission to complete. Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika, Debo, and Tabs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, who were they? We better go find out. Hey, Blippi! Mika! Over here! Can you help us? We'd love to help. The name's Boom. We're looking for something that we need, but we can't remember what it's called. And I'm Benjamin. The thing we need is kind of shaped like this, but with a less bouncy stick. Whoa! Whoa! Boom's away! Whoa! Oh! Like this. I'll get you out, Debo. Looks like you gotta shake it up. Oh, yeah. Shake it up. <laughs> Whoa. Purple. No. Yellow. No. Oh, hi, Blippi and Mika. I'm Barry. Can you help me find something? <laughs> sure. We would love to help. It's usually red. Red. Got it. But it can also be purple. Or orange. Green. Or every color. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> Hello! I'm blue. I need the yummy for my tummy. You're looking for something that tastes good. It's a yummy and makes me feel happy inside. Oh no! Hugs? <laughs> What's that? No, it's not that. Not that either. Was it. Boomsicle? Whoa! <laughs> oh yay! Flippy and Mika, I'm Babel. Can you help me find this word? Let's sound it out. Something... Sickle? Tricycle? Bicycle? Whamsicle? Good idea, Tabs. Let's review our notes. It's rectangular. It has a stick. It's frozen. It could be any color. It makes you feel happy. And it sounds like something sickle. Hmm. This is tricky. Popsicles! <laughs> you were looking for popsicles. Yeah! yeah! Hey, who are you all? Boom! Benjamin, Barry, Blue, Babble. And we are the Curiosity Crew. Wow! I got the answer to my question. Who were they? They are my new friends, the Curiosity Crew. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. Huh? 
you're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm. I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? <laughs> Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the racetrack? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! You can do it, Debo! Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! <laughs> I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster. Activate Blippi Station! Now it's time to get planet size! Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space! Whoa, it's a meteor! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Welcome to Outer Space! I marry the meteor! I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. 
Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa, we should go. We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. yeah, we. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune. Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure! Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What was that? Hey! It's me, Blippi! What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game! Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> Holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you land so perfectly? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this! Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi! It's so dark! How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud. What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment, 
and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley. Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all. Look at this amazing rainforest! <coughs> You're right! I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, Bai. Holy smokes! A volcano! That's right, Devo! When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out! I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield! Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go through the side vent into the volcano! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here! Whoa! Hey there, I'm Maggie the Magma Monster. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats. <laughs> Below us, deep in the earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava! Whoa! 
Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Flippy! Magma! Phew! That was close! Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! <laughs> this is going to be the best English feast ever! I can't wait to make all my favorite foods from London, England. Uh-oh! Are you okay, Tabs? Whoa! Tabs! You look like a knight! Hmm. I wonder, what was it like to be a knight in shining armor? Great idea, Tabs. We can go back in time to medieval London and find out. <laughs> Going back in time! Halt! Who goes there? Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Tabs. Are you a knight? Sir Buttercup, loyal knight of Her Majesty's kennel. So cool. Can you show us what a knight does? Of course. I was just about to test the castle's defense system, which helps keep it safe. My counterpart, Sir Pudding, will be assisting. All right. Fire when ready. Whoa. Was that a tomato? Probably. The catapults are loaded with rotten fruit to fire at anyone who approaches the castle. Take cover! <laughs> Look out! Oh. Who turned out the lights? <gasps> are you okay? <laughs> yes. My armor is made of steel and can protect me from the most severe of boo-boos. Good job, Sir Pudding! <laughs> For this next test, we will need to be very careful. Follow me! <laughs> Slowly now, the moat is filled with terrible oh. creatures so that intruders can't get across. Oh, terrible creatures? They could attack at any moment. <laughs> you mean the little ducks? Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa! Yikes! Hmm, <laughs> a doggy dish. Sir Pudding must be hungry. But how can we get inside? The castle walls are built very high to keep intruders out. I've got an idea. Follow me. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Whoa! An English feast! I can see why you were protecting the castle. Oh, Sir Pudding, what a wonderful idea! Thank you for your help. I declare you Sir Blippy and Lady Tabs! Wow! What an honor! And I got the answer to my question. What was it like to be a knight in shining armor? It was awesome! Knights protected their castle and kept everyone safe. Upload answer tabs. Farewell! Bye-bye, Sir Buttercup. Whoa! 
Look at all the blinking fireflies! One, two, three! One, two, three! Oh, I love counting! Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly! What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look at all those different flashing patterns! Maybe it's a counting game! One, two, three! One, two, three! Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Hey! It's me, Blippi! I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey! I'm Felicia! And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink! One, two, three! One, two, three! You again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time. Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo! I've never seen moves like that! One, two, three! One, two, three! When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style! And with style like that, I just can't stop! Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy! Felicia saves the day! <sighs> Works every time! Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah. Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We found your match! Now that's my style! <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style! Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three! One, two, three! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout! I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Ready, Debo? <laughs> three, two, one! Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? <laughs> Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hmm, even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie! Hey, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. 
Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything <gasps> disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing. Come see, it's the best show in town. The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark. Cool. Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? I got it. Phew. That was close. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet. Confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Ooh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful! We can see so much now! And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought! Thanks! I'm even bigger! You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh! Debo, huh? can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? <laughs> are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait, are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Blippi! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you 
you be sure? Because <laughs> it pickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Bebo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. moves you got there. I'm Bella the bear. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no. I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm going to have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast. <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Right. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do! Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right, we're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Work, Blippi. <laughs> well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles. The bear version of a big, comfy blanket. Oh, thanks. That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Mmm, mm, 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 salad. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush 
to clean your teeth. Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth. You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy. Is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa -ho -ho! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right. Let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow. I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. <laughs>